Hey, what's up? Justin here and welcome to 65 Drones. This is another episode of 65 Questions where I just answer your questions about the world of electronic drones. And there's gonna be quite a few questions about the Yamaha EAD-10 system because I made a couple of videos like a tutorial review thing. I've made a playthrough. There's a couple of common questions I've gotten about the system over and over and over again. And unfortunately, I didn't really address them in the video. So I'm gonna fix that right now and just go through a couple of the common comments that I've gotten from the last few videos. All right, so the first question comes from Gregory who writes, Hey Justin, will it work if you just left your drums with mesh heads instead of the acoustic ones? And the answer to that question is kind of complicated because I actually did try it, and it's basically the sound of a mesh head with reverb on it. And of course, I realize a lot of people would say, hey Justin, you didn't put a resonant head on it, and that's what gives it all the tone. Now obviously my big mistake here is that I don't have a snare strainer on it and that would change the sound too, but just think of that as like a Tom sound example. Now if you've been watching 65 drums for a while, you know that I make a little e-drum news videos whenever a new drum set comes out or a new electronic drum product comes out. And when I first made my video about the Yamaha EAD-10 system, people were telling me that I could use it with a set of mesh heads and it would put sounds on all the individual drum heads and everything just magically because it was analyzing the sonic waveforms and all this stuff. That's not really how this whole system works. This is just a drum miking system with an effects unit, and then it triggers your kick drum. Now you can buy a snare trigger and then like a floor tom trigger, maybe one extra trigger for your high tom. So you can technically trigger all your drums and that will work, but you'll have to go buy those separately. And as far as like Zildjian L80 symbols, it will mic and pick that up too, but it won't magically make them sound like, you know, Sabian HHX, like really nice high end symbols. Another comment that I got was, what exactly is that drum set you're playing? And what are the sizes and everything? So it's a Sonar Force 2001, just an entry level, you know, drum set. It's got, uh, I think it's Remo pinstripe heads for the toms, and they're 12, 16, 14 inch piccolo snare from Tama, and then the kick drum is 22 inches across with like a, I think it's a Remo power stroke head on it with a bunch of blankets and stuff inside of it. And then all the symbols are Sabian B8, Sabian B8 Pro hi-hats that are 14 inches across, a 16 inch thin crash, and then also a Sabian B8, uh, I think it's a, it's, it's a 22 inch ride, I believe, just a regular 22 inch ride. So it's a very simple setup. It's nothing really high end or amazing. So another comment that I got was, what are those in-ears that you're using in the video? And they're West Tone in-ears. I believe they're the 130 model, the older version, not the new one that just came out the other day. Uh, they're like 400 bucks when I bought them. I should make a separate video about those and actually review them. I wouldn't really recommend them for most drummers for reasons I'll have to talk about in a different video. But they are nice. They're obviously a $400 set of in-ears are nice, but uh, they're lacking in a couple of key areas, which I'll talk about later. So another really common question that I've gotten is can you use the EAD-10 in a live setup? Can you use it on stage? And I've heard conflicting things about this. I didn't personally test it myself on stage with a band, so I can't tell you if it will work or not from firsthand experience. As far as like reading reviews and stuff, some people say they've gotten it working and then other people say it just doesn't work in a live environment. So uh, I'm gonna guess that it does work if you put the correct settings inside of the drum module. You have to use it in the right way or else you will have issues. So that's as far as I can say, I can't tell you definitively, yes it works or it doesn't. Some people have issues and other people say it works completely fine live. Austin wants to know what kind of camera slider I'm using for those videos. And the answer is I'm using one from GVM. It's working pretty well for me. You can set two points and then I have it go automatically back and forth for infinity. And you can select the speed, you know, you can make it go really fast or really, really slow. You have to use it on two camera tripods. And uh, I really enjoy it. I have another little ball joint thing on top of that that I bought separately for like 17 bucks. And that lets me position the camera 
in 360 degrees. Over the past couple of years, I've been buying a little bit more gear here and there, trying to make the video quality just go up and up and up. This stuff doesn't happen overnight. Obviously, you have to slowly buy stuff here and there unless you have a pile of money sitting somewhere. But I'm just trying to make the videos better and better as the years go by. So Brian commented and wanted to know if I'm using the EAD10 through a loudspeaker or a PA system. And the answer is no, I'm actually just using it through some in-ears. If I use my PA system over here, this is JBL with a Samson subwoofer, I could use those quite easily, but the problem is because I'm just miking an acoustic drum set and then putting a couple of samples here and there, I'd have to turn up the PA system almost as loud as my acoustic drum set. So now all of a sudden you'd have twice the amount of volume. I'd use headphones or in-ears with this system personally. But if any of you use a PA system and I'm wrong and it actually works out fine, let me know down in the comments below. All right, so that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And especially thank you to the people on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Have an amazing day. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in a few.